Checking in with Henry Yokoharu. Henry, how are you doing? Good, good, thank you. How about yourself? Really good. Um, how are things for you? What's uh, keeping you busy right now? Uh, things are pretty good in here. You know, obviously, first of all, every, safe, safe and healthy in here in Finland. So it's it's all it's all good, and uh, just try and stay in shape and uh, just be ready if the season still keep continuing. Uh, who are you quarantined with in your uh, in your house? Who are you living with? Uh, right now, I'm at or or family house. My parents are here. My brother as well, and uh, I'm living with my girlfriend too. So just kind of moving back and forth. Uh, your brother was still playing this year. Are you training uh, with him on uh, you know your days at the gym or at the shooting facility? Yeah, yeah, I'm training with my with my brother and one of our Buffalo Sabres prospect, Oscar Lax, and he's one of my best friends here so we 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 train together over there in the gym very good how long have you known Oscari? um i would say four four or five years mm -hmm. at least hey what uh what made you um take the decision to go play junior in north america i think i i didn't so i was a little bit smaller smaller guy that that time so i think uh it was better opportunity for me to to get seen and uh, just to get get drafted from there. I think that was that was the key for me, and I I, I felt like there was a couple demons, like older demons, like one and two years older older demons, just went like CHL and get drafted high from there. So I I, I felt like it's it's a good step for me, and it, it's a little bit closer to NHL than just staying here in Finland than and maybe playing the pro pro league or maybe not and then maybe playing juniors what what didn't i feel like if i will play juniors again in finland that year or a year after i played uh, the the under 20 league here so i felt uh, that i need i need like a improvement you know getting step by step a little bit higher and i think i think that was a really good step for me to move in the poor and winter hawks yeah, what was it like uh, living in Portland for a couple of years? How would you compare, you know, where you live in Finland to to Portland? Uh, it was, of course, first it was it was a little weird. My English English was pretty bad at that time, and uh, but I think I was I was prepared for it and I was ready for it. So I I knew I was coming coming there. So uh, but of course, first first couple of weeks I was a little homesick and. Uh, things didn't go that well and uh but then when i when i got used to it it was it was so much fun and uh, I, I felt like my build family was great i have like a couple build brothers my teammates over there so uh it was it was easy, nice and easy for me and i was kind of just had to play over there and just i was yeah i i, I love it those two years over there yeah, it's it's a beautiful spot, obviously, and uh, you know, soon enough the NHL will be out in Seattle, so uh, not too far yeah. from there. Yeah. No, no, yeah, exactly. Hey, um, so when you were playing out there, your brother was over in uh, well, not far, right? He was in Clarkson no. and uh, going to college. Yeah. Um, how did he? How did he go down that path? Um. So I'll say, so he was a little bit older when he when he ended up playing U twenty league and. Uh, so he, he was always really good at school and he, he was smarter smarter than me so so he he knew that it was kind of like a one one opportunity for him to go there and uh, he, he picked it up that one so and uh, so now he's now he's down with the school he played last year over here in Finland and uh, yeah it was it was a good decision from him to go there so he can have like the college papers and you know like mm -hmm. He can he can actually have like a really good job after after hockey. Good for him. Uh, obviously, yeah. all of this kind of comes from your dad, who played pro for a lot of years. Um, how much was he involved in coaching either of you as a, as a youngster, and how much is he still involved in the game now? Oh uh, yeah, obviously he was he was teaching us, me and my brother, a lot when we were when we were kids, and we we had like a shooting place in the backyard here, and. Uh, I think I think he, he he coaches a lot, you know, like how to skate and that kind of stuff. But we just we were listening with my brother a lot and just like training those together and just doing that a lot too, you know. And that we 
like he wasn't all the time saying like what to do and we we just were like so excited with my brother and just try to improve all the time and obviously all the all the battles over uh, some some uh street hockey and that kind of stuff so i think I think those those helps a lot, and of course, like different sports like soccer, soccer mm-hmm. here what we play when we were kids. So, I think of course, and it, it was a huge help as a kid. But it's still it is. I usually always call my dad after after games because it's end up pretty late, late later night when our game stops and or ended, so we can talk about the game and just how how it went. Sometimes like he he watched the game after. After when he wake wake ups and just just keep, gives me like some some tips what I can do better so I, that's that's the way how I can improve my game all the time. So what's mom like in all of this? Is she athletic? Is she a big sports fan? How much does she talk to you about your game and and life? <laughs> yeah, she she used to have like run hurdles in yeah. track and field, so uh, she knows sports a lot too. But I think I think. She's just being mom, you know, normal mom, not not just not focusing that much about hockey and just she just taking care of, like life outside of hockey the most. So it's there's like a really good balance on them. So what sports beyond obviously your job that and your life that is hockey? What sports are you are you missing the most right now? What sports? Um, maybe right now. It's golf because uh, even even this morning and yesterday morning it was snowing, so yeah. the golf courses is, is not that good right now. But so golf right now. But I I miss soccer a lot. I remember those those summers when I used to play soccer when I was a kid. It was so so much fun. Like it was like probably like two three mi- two miles I would say. Like I can just bike to the to the soccer practice from my from our house and it was it was nice and easy every time and just I think that was that was so much fun when you can play play soccer in the summer and hockey in the winter time so we I I felt it was a really good balance to me the one thing that's amazing to me given your age and you're still so young You've had the opportunity to win gold medals at three major international events uh, at such a young age, under 18, World Juniors and World Championships. What what do you think each of those experiences ultimately gives you in your game moving forward? I think those, you can, you can understand what, it, what is the most important in the, in the hockey and like it's, it's how, how teams different teams can win you know it's we just have different kind of teams i would say u18s and u20s we have a really good team that year and like U, u20s we have like a good team but we were struggling like in the group games and then we just figure out how to battle battle through those tough tough times and just win canada and then switch around usa and win the gold medal and with the with, with men's national team obviously it was it was huge that was probably the biggest, biggest championship for me because uh, you can just understand how how big if is the win as a team. Like we, like we, we didn't even play like or quarterfinal games or semifinal and the final games it wasn't easy one. So you can't can't blame blame that uh, with our team that we we beat like easy teams because we were like we were underdog. Of course, like every those games, and mm-hmm. uh, we just we just find found out or like figure out how to how, how to win those games, and I think that just the team team wins was like we were a really good hockey team in that tournament. Well, your country has done a remarkable job of uh, you know showing how it can at a small size come together and yeah. uh, and beat the world. It's uh, an impressive trait, Henry. Great to catch up with you, and uh, we certainly wish you the best, and I hope to see you soon. Yeah. All right. Thanks for thanks for the call.